Hi, I'm, I'm Lewis Carter. I'm a Project Procurement Coordinator at BA Systems in Portsmouth. Um, fresh, fresh out of the apprenticeship scheme about two years ago, uh, transitioned into you know, a full-time full role at, B, at BA Systems um, and also a Workstream Chair for the Future Generations Workstream, uh, part of Shaping the Future of Portsmouth. Just thinking back to when I was at school, um, it was quite a positive experience, you know, a good, good group of friends, good teachers. I uh, was kind of really interested in, in, in sport and, and PE. I uh, was, was quite interested in uh, science as well, to be honest, but I guess you don't really appreciate how much you actually enjoy school until you leave. You know, sometimes you're sat in the office at work thinking, you know, could I, could I go back to school for one day and just see what it's like now? Um, so overall, you know, really, really kind of enjoyed school. Um, and it, yeah, it was, was a good experience. I actually wanted to be a PE teacher um, when I left school, which is really different to what I do now. Um, as I said, was really interested in sport and PE. Um, this was kind of reflective in what I chose to study at A-levels at college. So I chose to study uh, sport, human biology. I also chose uh, business studies and ICT, just to kind of uh, give me a, a backup plan and also broaden my experience and, and knowledge. Um, I'd, I'd say it's probably halfway through my first year and I realised that maybe, you know, being a PE teacher wasn't quite for me. Still still enjoyed kind of, you know, the physical aspect of playing sport but maybe not quite the, the theory side of it so much. But also become, you know, really interested in, in business and kind of, you know, finding out how things worked. Uh, I worked part time for a manufacturing company so I was really interested in kind of processes and leadership and management. Um, and I think that was a real kind of turning point in in kind of deciding, you know, what, what was the future for me. Um, I had a really good lecturer in my second year, uh, chose to study a business administration course, um, quite different from doing A-levels, but um, she kind of drove me to where, where I am today in terms of what profession to go into. So I was, was interested in either working in, in banking or financial services, uh, in, in a state agency or, or property and finally either supply chain or procurement and that, that was because she, her husband actually worked in procurement he was a procurement manager for quite a large organisation um, and his, his kind of experience and what he'd done throughout his, his life, his career kind of really captivated me and, and, um, and made me kind of interested in what I'm doing today so I guess you can call it fate um, just happened to find an apprenticeship on the BA Systems website, they were looking for a, a supply chain apprentice. It was all focused around uh, business administration, kind of, you know, in supply chain, not just procurement, but end to end, so logistics, production control, and procurement. Um, obviously, went through the the application and interview process, and and almost put all my eggs in one basket. To be honest, um, didn't just apply for the BA Systems one, but that that's where you know my considerable effort went into actually, um, obviously putting some hard work into achieving that. So, um, yeah, as I said, two years out of that, um, full-time employee now, um, project procurement coordinator, what does that mean? Day-to-day, um, -to -day, it's, it's quite operational and transactional, um, you know, a bit of supplier management, so contract management, a um, bit of cost negotiation, contracts, uh, legal kind of contract law. Um, it's really varied, you know, I don't don't find myself doing the same thing every day. You know, um, I work with some really good suppliers on on some of our key projects, but also you find yourself trying to manage your internal stakeholders and your external stakeholders. You know, I'm, I'm kind of the forefront. You know, I speak to a lot of people externally, but also your project your project managers, your production managers, your engineers. You know, trying to keep them in line to make sure they're happy, obviously, with with what's happening. I'd say it's quite a varied role. I'm also an education ambassador, so I get in, I get involved in quite a few early careers. Um, opportunities, uh, you know, careers fairs, sons and daughters to work days, uh, mock interviews, so that, that's that's really good to kind of just to kind of get involved in the early careers of BA Systems, obviously with my experience as an apprentice. Um, but kind of the bigger picture for me, you know, the overall am ambitions are to, to one day become, you know, a senior leader within the organisation. Um, at the moment, I think there's different levels. I, I'm really key to become a director. Um, a business unit level, but that doesn't necessarily mean that I would stop there. Um, you know, I could could hopefully go on maybe a, a, a more kind of global or certainly a UK level. Um, but that's kind of that's kind of my main ambitions in terms of you know where where do I want to be? But it's all about it's all about kind of speed for me at the moment, trying to build some good foundations. So 
obviously I can grasp some future career opportunities. What do I wish I knew when I was younger? <laughs> um, I wish I wish I knew more about business to be honest, kind of what actually happens beyond the scenes. You, you know, I, th I think you know about the, the key operations, you know what needs to happen in a business but you don't necessarily actually see or appreciate what happens day to day. You know, there's so much that goes on, so much planning and, and stuff and I, I, think I, I think I wish I knew that because it probably would have helped me decide when I was leaving school what, what I wanted to do um, and probably I wish I actually knew a bit more about the academic routes, you know, apprenticeships, college, university, graduate schemes, you know, what, what actually, what, what's out there after school and after college. Um, not to say that I'm, I'm, un, I'm unhappy with the choices I've made, uh, you know, I think I'm really fortunate to be where I am, you know, I've got, built some really good solid foundations in my career, so, but I just think, you know, maybe, maybe if I'd have had that knowledge I may have been a year or two ahead of where I am now. My five tips, five top tips for getting on in the world of work. Um, the first two are, are relatively simple and easy. I think, I think the first one for me is just being proactive. Um, yeah, that's, it's really important to me, especially personally when I'm working with people. I like to see a bit of uh, pro being proactive, taking the initiative. Um, you know, I think it always helps. It shows that you're, you're a good character. Um, second is is to be flexible. Um, you know, look to take on more work where possible. You know, look to do the extra hours if you need to. Be flexible. It kind of shows that again. It shows that you've got a good character and will help for you build some good relationships as you move forward. Um, number number three is um, is all about having like a clear set of, of career goals and objectives. So maybe to to write yourself a personal development plan. Um, that should kind of outline outline your long term goals, but also your short term goals as well. So, you know, what type of learning do you want to undertake uh, short term to get you to where you want to be? Um, number four, quite important, I think, is networking. Uh, you need to build a really strong network, um, and it, and that personally for me has helped uh, considerably. You know, with where I am today, build a network internally, but also externally. You know get involved in projects outside of work, um, that always helps, you know, get your name out there, especially in a city like Portsmouth, it, it can really help to, uh, you know, expand your career, um, and also just building really good relationships with people so that they, you know, they appreciate your potential and your talent. And uh, number five um, is to accept challenge, you know, accept challenges, take on more work, you know, don't be afraid of accepting challenge. Uh, for me personally, I quite like to be thrown in the deep end, just to see, you know, how I cope, if you can't, if you can't cope, I think you need to be honest. Put your hands up, say, you know, I'm out of my depth. I need a bit of help, but I just think it's one of the quickest ways to learn is is to kind of take something on, you know, make it your own, and and I think that that really kind of speaks volumes in terms of you know what you're capable of.